Hello everyone, good evening and welcome to the series, probably this is the last one for this series, let's make an Amiga game, this is episode number 16. Um, before I go through the usual routine, I'd like to say hello to all the Phase 101 members and also um, all those that are in the Phase 101 Facebook group, those that are in the Commodore Dev Facebook group and all those that are on Discord because now the Discord community is growing is growing and there are about 150 of us now there so it grew up substantially in the last month or month and a half anyway before uh, I do my usual ritual of uh, telling you what we have etc etc um, it's been two months that I haven't streamed um in terms of amiga things i've th i've done some streams related to retro programmers inside because remember retro programmers inside is also a facebook group that me and emanuele founded um but i haven't done anything related to amiga coding or the um the complete amiga assembly um, that I do every every Saturday and, and Sunday based on the book of Fabio Tucci who I say send my hellos and I thank him also so as you know I had uh, one month which was the month of April basically where I had people here in the house and uh, builders etc and doing things on my house so I couldn't really stream, the house was a mess. Um, then May came and I thought I'm going to start streaming again. But luck, or call it whatever you want, another hard drive, SSD hard drive failed. Which, when a hard drive fails for me, it's chaos in a way. I do have backups. So it's not that I lost any data, but restoring it from the cloud um, is a nightmare. And I do not have enough space in the cloud. So this is why also you are seeing uh, on the screen um, that all donations go to um, get a larger storage. Because to be honest, I'm running out of storage again. And definitely I need to um, get um, more storage online. Um, that's reality. To be, it took, and I'm not joking, to restore the drive back, it took me, okay, four days. Four days full on, not touching the computer, let, letting the computer do, uh, do the sync, <laughs> basically. But of course, you need to install the OS and all that stuff before, so it does take time. Um, then I went on holiday, so that's why I couldn't stream. After when I when I was ready to to stream, it was time to leave basically, so I didn't stream at all. Um, so that's the reason why it took me so long to stream, and to be honest, I'm happy. Um, to be back streaming the normal way uh, because I do love it, I do miss it and for me every time I see comments or somebody you know send me some comment or see you guys here it's an encouragement for me to do more so yeah I thank you for being here supporting me uh, etc so, as always, I start with the usual ritual now. <laughs> um, after the little bit news that I gave, please subscribe 
like our Facebook page, uh, sorry, our YouTube page. It's very important for me that, as I said, that you subscribe and you like our videos because this is the way I get encouraged uh, to do more. Um, while I'm at it, uh, please note that I have started a new series, which started uh, this week on Tuesday, which is myself and Emanuele relate doing things related to retro programmers inside. Because for those that do not know, retro programmers inside, um, we do game challenges or game gems. And uh, this month, or month and a half, is to celebrate the 50th uh, year's anniversary of Pong, is writing a game in Pong. You can write it for with any language you want, with for any machine that you want, as long as it's retro. So 8 and 16-bit machines. Um, in fact, you can see here is the stream that we did on on uh, Tuesday and we also shared some code for the Commodore 64 to um, of how to write a Pong game basically it's not complete but the source is available if you go under the video you will see um, a link to it um, all the games at, after the game jam uh, they are shown, as I'm showing here in this video. These are all the Dalek, because the previous one before Pong was Dalek Attack. And the all the games are shown there. So, please have a look if you haven't seen them. And subscribe to RPI also, to Retro Programmers Inside. But please do like our uh, videos. As I mentioned earlier, we have a Facebook page and a Facebook group, Phase 101. So please, if you want to follow us, I post the page is the place where everything is updated. The page is my, uh, let's say my website, if you want to call it like that, even though Phase 101 has got a website, the, the Facebook page is my website. Everything focus around it. And then there is the group, okay? And then there is Commodore Dev also, of course. Um, please like, follow the, the page. Um, due to Streamlabs, I have um, merchandise, but um, it's I'm not there for the merchandise. I wanted to show you something. If you go on... So Streamlabs, Prince Phase 101, CloudBot, okay? There are all the commands related to uh, what you can type in the chat, okay? And you will see it coming up from time to time. Now, for those that have been following me and uh, following the Amiga, okay? I have made a page with links for you so that you can start programming uh, in 68k okay this page if you type um if i remember correctly book page because i haven't done it for some time now there you go you get the link to the page okay um so you can uh, um you know it i'm constantly updating it i haven't updated it for a month or so but i i will continue now updating it uh, of course then uh, if you like what we do or what i do you can always donate or support us either on patreon by the way on patreon and coffee so both of them okay they have so if on youtube there are i don't know 100 videos on uh, um, on Patreon and Coffee because they are identical. There are more. In fact, if you 
subscribe to them there are 56 videos that you will unlock uh, basically most of these are related to amiga so and the same is coffee okay um there is no um nothing else uh, they are identical um as always subscribe to this if you want to chat with me i'm available whether you support me or not i'm always happy to help but the place to get in touch with me is discord there is facebook i do see the messages on facebook but i do take my time while discord is something that i see all the time so please subscribe to discord if you want to get in touch with me i think if you do i'm not sure if you type I forgot the, the I think it's links. Mm, I can't remember the commands right now, and I should I should I should remember them because I showed you the page. Um Discord, maybe it's Discord. Ah oh, there you go. You get the link to Discord, okay? So exclamation mark Discord. I just saw somebody just joined. Thank you very much, uh, Connie, <laughs> uh, for joining. That I'm going to wave to you, but I will uh, welcome you later on if you don't mind. Um, this page, okay, because we program the Amiga using 68,000, 60, but using the Amiga hardware. So this page where that covers the registers. Um, I'm just going to copy the link and paste it there. It's also on my link page, but I'm going to paste it there. This page, we use it a lot. Okay, you will use it a lot if you want to program on the Amiga, for the Amiga. You Obviously, this is hardware Amiga programming, not OS programming, because the Amiga has two ways of to program it, uh, the hardware way and the OS way. Some people, I've seen some comments, honestly, and I just cannot understand it, saying, ah, oh, because it's something the hardware program is not good. Well, you should not play the games, okay, that they were written for the Amiga because they are, they are all Amiga hardware programming. So most of the games are written towards the Amiga hardware, not towards the OS. But anyway, um, I even had somebody trying to enter in a, uh, huge discussion with me but I don't, I ignore and usually I block, that's what I normally do um, because it's obvious um, whoever tries to enter this discussion is not really in, in the interest of the uh, it, it's just trying to you know, maybe upset me or something like that, but I ignore this type of people um, that's uh, basically it um, now we jump to the uh, game. So, because I changed the game, I need to do this now. Give me a second, guy, uh, guys and, and dolls. Uh, where is it? There you go. Sorry. So, Last episode that we did was episode 15, right? And we had nearly the game finished. It was, it was, it needed some more things, but it nearly today we will finish it. The graphics, I left them the same, okay? So there are no changes from episode 15 to episode 16 today. However, because I was away for two months, I did continue writing the game. Normally I was doing it live on stream, but I wanted to finish it. So I did write the game. I did finish it from what it needs. I will still do it as if I haven't coded it, but I want to show you the final version of it. Um, but before I do that, I want to remind you and also thank the person that gave me the idea okay so um where is it 
Better wait me a second. So. I'm going to show you the game if when I run it in the intro we get music this time in the first screen right because before we didn't have unless it crashes there you go so problem solved and if I press the fire button, it should. So I think that we still have some issue. And I know what it is. I didn't change the con. I didn't change the condition. That's a shame on me. Okay, so because I copied and tested, uh, I copied and pasted from this should be brain Johnique one now. not branch or not equal the rest is the same so how did i realize that we have this issue because i pressed the fire button and as soon as i press the fire button the game changed screen it should only change the screen when i release the fire button okay so that's how i knew i had that issue so if we run it again So I'm, I'm, going, I'm pressing the fire button, I know you cannot see me, but I can assure you my finger is on the fire button. And, and the game hasn't changed the screen yet, okay? But as soon as I release it, it will change to, this, to the next screen, okay? That's the difference. So that, that's why this part was important because it's easy to detect for the fire button but then you need to check when it is released so um we solved the problem of um the uh, music in in the game uh, sorry in the intro screen of course we will need to solve it also in uh, in the um, game over screen right now in the game over screen we had created lots of delays let's say that using a certain trick that we learned from from the book now i remind you that on saturday and sunday i stream uh, i i i call it the complete uh um, uh, Amiga assembly course, but it's based on the book of Fabio Tucci that is actually a complete uh, Amiga assembly course. Okay, so and what do I mean by that? We have in the game loop, we have created these delays. If you notice, I'm waiting for a FF, then FV, FD, FC, FB, and because they are one less, I'm waiting for a lot for these frames to happen. Okay, but this is not really right. Okay, it's just a trick in a way to um, creating delay, but uh, it's okay for when you are testing, but. I, I prefer a um, different way of doing that. Well, different, you know, the right way, like thinking with the vertical blank and that's it, not introducing delays and things like that. So in the game over screen now, we need, we can remove all these, that's for sure. Actually, instead of removing them, I'm just going to comment them out for now. 
okay it's control forward slash if you want in visual code if you want to comment uh, things out okay then uh, we still do not have the high score so that remains as it is now here okay we need the same routine that we had that we have here okay so where was it i'm just going to copy and paste basically i'm just going to copy it with the comment why not so instead of this I'm just making sure that I am, I do not need that actually. I can do this. Yeah. Um, this part remains the same. And now, We do not need empty end because we do not want the music to end so we should comment that out the rest should be fine so now when we die we should have music also in the game over screen So now I'm just going to die, okay? And as you see, we still have music in the game over screen, which before we didn't have. So we are on track, let's put it this way. Uh, the music, I'm realizing there's something that is not right 100%, but it's okay. Anyway, so that was that was the part where we edit um, also music to the um, game over screen. So just to be sure that I am on track. Mm -hmm. So that we did. Now. Remember, I told you we need color to the player. So, what do I mean by this? It's that when they hit us, okay, when they hit the player, I mean, hit us, uh, that's uh, not not definitely what I should say. Um, uh, we should change uh, color when we collide basically with something. Uh, actually, let's check something in the game also, which should be just to make sure that we did it before I continue. So basically, the sprites should not reset. Let's see. When we collide. Okay. You can see now the the, the 
to show it to you again. Notice the energy bar and the depth bar when we collide. What happens to them? I can't beat them. I immediately. Okay, now you see the energy bar and depth bar how they changed because now we. Um, and of course, when we run out of energy, we die. So basically, it's similar to having three lives. If you notice, this is how it was worked. Before, remember, we had lives. We had a counter that says the number of lives. And it was three. Now, we don't have, um, we don't have a counter for lives, but we have an energy bar. But notice one thing, what, I, what we did, okay, is that when you hit a sprite and the sprite passes through you in a way and you're losing energy, okay, you can only do that three times, else you'll end up without energy. So it is like having three lives in a way, okay? So that, that was um, the thing behind it when I started with a counter of three lives. Anyway, so let's do the color changing. So let's find the file that we, that I need for, it should be handle collision. And that is in player in player.s which we have here okay so let's find the routine handle collision there you go <clears throat> so What needs to change here? One, this one needs to go. Okay. And so we need to change the color. here okay it's very easy here we move the color that we want into the sprite so i chose colors it, to be fair i could have chosen colors that made more sense for the game but right now because we are testing i chose colors that are so evident that we have an issue that we are colliding i mean if I had to release this game in a, you know, I would make sure that the colors are, let's say, more soft. <laughs> Here I'm showing that we are actually um, having a collision. And I'm showing that by setting the color of the sprite, okay, which is DFF184 to. Um, Is it it's not yellow but greenish yellow okay that that's what have what, what I'm doing so if we run it now we should see the player changing color When he when we hit something, okay. Let's see. Nothing happened. That's not right. Uh, did I save? Did I save? Mm -hmm. 
Oops, I did save. Uh, I'm missing something. So, let's try it again. I'm I'm just going to now I'm, go I'm going to check the actual code, okay? So apologies, but I need to go and check the actual code of what I did. It's practically the first time I'm, I'm going to do it, but uh, this is player.s. And... So, that is correct, that is correct, that is correct, but it has to change, so maybe that's why. Mm. So, basically, this can go, okay, this can go for sure. And this is correct. Let's run it again. I'm just going to copy the same line just in case I have a mistake, but I shouldn't. Just for the sake. There is the comment, but it was the same. So, Missing something there. The truth change color. However, I do know that I rename. I have to rename this. That that I do know. Mm. Okay. Let's. Um, let's skip it for now. Let's skip it for now. I, I'll I'll come to it later on anyway. I'm just going to make a note for me. To know that this gave me problems. And we see. Okay, so let's go to the HUD. And we have update HUD, but one is update score, and the other one is update lives. This needs to go away because we are not using that anymore and in fact we will rename it ah hello c64 television 
Thanks for following. I'm not streaming C64 though today. But I do stream from time to time C64. It was last Tuesday to be honest. Anyway, so it should be yeah. We have a routine. This routine we will not need it anymore. So somewhere, I need to remember, oh, here it is, this routine, okay, we will, we do not need it, um, just to make sure that we do not need it, I'm going to comment it out, and see if we assemble. If it's it's a semi so yeah we do not need it anymore because not, nothing else is calling it because we are not using anymore that counter that I mentioned now we are we have a there so it's not the issue of the color for now it's okay okay so that makes sense because before as i said we, we remember we had lives and we had the counter to um update the text where lives was but we do not need that and now in constant.s We should also rename what was number of lives. There you go. Two. Because that is energy strength. How much energy we have, no? And uh, since we changed that, we also need to change the variables table. Uh, where is it? Here. Where we initialize lives. Is it lives? Lives. We need to change it to energy. And here we put energy strength. Okay, so now because we removed lives we have the hud we need to update the hud now because the lives is still in the hud so what i mean is you see we still have this here for digits and we were using the high score we do not need that anymore so that goes from there In fact, I did the note last time. This will be removed. And there you go. 
it is being removed. Uh, but here we need to change some things now. So score is still okay. Energy is still okay. So yeah, depth meter. So score digit is fine, but then I have energy. Yeah, that is fine. Okay. Then I do not need this anymore. These are not needed. Those are not needed because we are creating them elsewhere. Do I need this 19? I don't. Then I have This side of need or I need. No, this I don't need neither. It should be like that. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And then the high score digits. Yeah. And then these are the same and the third. Okay. So let's, because like this is confused, let's comment them a bit. So in the hat, okay, this is the cycle, okay, that we have. This is where we have the score. And of course, we display this core as a number. Then this is where we have the energy meter. But we do not need, we just need to leave a space for the energy meter. I do not need to display anything because that is being built uh, in a separate routine. Then we have the depth meter and the same thing. I just need the text. Then we have the high score. And that's the high score. So these are together to be fair, like that. Then we have the credits. So like that should make more sense now. as it is divided. Okay. So now, because we changed the variable, we need to go and update the init game variables again. And that was in Uh, sorry, we will need this, yes, but it is in, is it in HUD? Yeah, we will still need this. So, what did we change? We change where lives was no so example this one should be actually let me copy it because I'm going to make a mistake oh 
I'm going to check it to make sure that it is correct. So energy strength, that should be long. Did I change it to long? Um, that was in data, no? Environments. Yeah, it is long. So, I think we are good. Sometimes this annoys me when you get the text popping up. I mean, I know what the move instruction can do. Um, so... Okay, I think we have it, we have it, okay. Now, we need a way, we have the energy uh, and depth bar, okay? But we need to position them because we remove them from the HUD and we need a position for them where they should be. Okay, so we need to add these. So, just to make sure that we are okay. So, this is in constant dot s now we need to be. So that's correct. So we have them. I thought we didn't, but we have them. Okay, they are there. Then energy bar length. Yeah. Bar length. Yeah. Energy strength. This should be actually, I think we'll have a mistake here. This should be. Yeah, I think it should be like that. So. we are still uh, we need so now we are going to do the meter the meters now no um if i run the game actually i don't know if it assembles right now uh, because i've been changing things and i didn't but let's try to run it and i s s show you what i mean yeah, it's not going to um what is the error In handle collision, it said. So in handle collision, that is player. No, we are referring something. Ah, because lives is not okay. So it will not assemble yet, um, because we still need to change this variable to something that we will like create. But the issue that we have is that. Our strength bar is okay, but the depth bar is not. So we need to create the variables related to the depth bar. Okay. And these I'm going to copy them just to make sure I do not make mistakes. So we need 
the depth position okay depth level where we are so each we have in the counter of the depth we have from zero from one that's why i had to add one here okay we have from one to 64 okay that's how much accurate we can be so that we can have 64 levels okay i can assure you you will not survive 64 levels um but it it you can do quite a bit so it's not it's not that although i put 64 levels um that you will and i said it will start to be difficult that you will not be able to reach uh, a high number it's just that you will not be able to do 64 because once they start once you start having six of them on the same line so basic three and then three again it's it's going to be tough no you, you will lose energy so how many times can you use energy three times full, fully because you can also use lose a margin depending how much how long you are you stay hitting the object but still um the maximum is 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 three three full uh, times hence it's it's impossible to reach 64 unless somebody will tell me that they managed but i doubt it um because i know how it what it will start doing um so we'll start at level one okay that's why i had to add one there and we have a timer okay so every time so 50 is one second okay 50 is one second so in one uh, in one second we have 50 frames so i'm multiplying that by 30 so for 30 seconds okay every 30 seconds we will increase the level okay so every 30 seconds that you survive you increase the level so if you had to survive all the levels okay it's half an hour playing the same game i i, I doubt you can <laughs> um but yeah that's how i i did it i could have done it every 15 seconds you increase a level but i did it every 30 so that it's not um and every every time the level increases what will happen is which we haven't done yet uh, what will happen is there the the timer when it respawns another sprite gets smaller so the smaller it gets the more it will spawn and the more sprites on the screen so in the end there will be too many in close to each other that you will lose the energy <clears throat> because you have to collide with them but yeah that's that's how i did it i didn't want it to, initially when i was doing the game writing the i did it 15 seconds but i said okay 15 seconds but it is it is too you know you die too quickly then you need to play it a bit and you need to you know we have a high score why not have a big score so that's why i did it like that anyway so now that we have created these variables this constant sorry we need to create the variables that will populate the value of these constants so in the variables table let me find should they should be here i guess we have energy bar and energy and depth bar and those are correct yeah but now and i'm going to copy them again and i will explain them so one is for the score and one is for the high score i think those are common sense no it's to store this the score and high score 
why do I have them at the bottom and I had them here so I need to check why I did that so So before I had them here in score and lives and score and lives there is energy so I moved everything that I had from here uh -huh. so this can go this can go right because I copied them down there yeah uh, okay I grouped them together that's all I did so and I'm just going to copy this. I just wanted them to be together. So we had defined this and actually we did it earlier. We had defined this and we had defined this. So all I did is edit the depth and I'm entering the depth level and the depth level timer which is what i said 30 every 30 seconds we increase the level okay that's what it's doing there now having said that that means that the variables needs to be again updated this we now start going through many times and eventually we will optimize it but for now um and that is in let's look at where it is here in hard so now this will change because we moved these four at the bottom so this will be the same that will be okay that will be okay this will be okay. Normal fold will be okay. Joystick will be okay. Polish will be okay. And now energy will be okay. But, and not to make mistake, I better copy. So the sequence of these, right now it doesn't matter, okay? But I'm putting them in sequence for a reason, for when we optimize, okay? That is why I'm being picky on this. And you will see soon why. They are following the way I'm, I'm using them here. Okay, the, the way they are one after the other is the way they are defined in this table, in the variables table. Okay, one after the other. Okay because I want the pointer and I update the pointer and when I am updating the pointer I am populating I am populating each one of them that's why I'm being picky that they are one of it right now if I moved that bar from here to here okay it doesn't matter because I'm just resetting the variable and whatever it is that routine will reset all the variables and it's fine but if you are using a pointer to reset them then you need them in sequence okay so we have done that we still cannot execute the game okay now in the HUD, same, we need a way to increment, which we did, the depth bar. Because it's similar to the NL. Okay, so this is actually here we have a bug. Yeah, that should be ASR. 
and then auto x dot Yeah, that is two four zero two four six. Yeah, because it's the opposite. One goes down and one goes up. The way the energy bar goes down, no, goes to, towards the zero, while this one from zero or from one goes towards sixty four. So that's why they are the opposite of each other. Okay, so that's correct. And do we have an update level? We don't. And that is similar to this one. Yeah, I better not to make mistakes. I better copy. I said I will not be copying, but it doesn't make sense to not copy it. I prefer explaining it. It's it's a simple routine anyway. So basically, we have a, the, we have the timer. Now that I said every uh, every thirty seconds we increase the level. So how do we do? How do we monitor that on the uh, on the screen? How do we show that? So first of all we decrement by one okay that timer okay the, the, so basically every frame we are decrementing one so we get 30 seconds then we add one to the variable depth and we reinitialize the timer so we increment the depth so basic from one from one bar we become two bars okay which we will update in a minute uh, and then we have a routine increment depth bar which is this one so basically it's going to increment it okay by doing this routine you will see it incremented to the screen basically on the screen okay you know my ma i'm talking to you guys but i'm still thinking why the color didn't change in that in that routine which is somehow annoying me um but i'm pretty sure i will figure it out so we still cannot run the code we there is one bit that we haven't done. So right now we are coding. Hopefully, because I've done it before, it should run without giving me one million problems. Uh, today, the stream might be a little longer. Okay, I really want to finish it. Hopefully it will assemble. If not, I will use the previous version. Okay, I will find out after what it is. But yeah, um, but I prefer that we get this running. Okay, it's what I'm working on, not what I did. Also, I'm realizing, as you see, I'm noticing bugs. Even though it was running, I'm noticing bugs and I fixed them. So it's good to do the code twice in a way. <laughs> so now we need to fix the game loop. So, I guess I do not need it here. This part is the core of the, so this now can go, okay? Now we know we don't need this. Before I moment it out, but now we don't need it. So the game loop will start to make more sense. And what I need to update is here. 
So we need the level update. Created a routine. Update level. This one. Then read joystick. Then check middle fall. Yeah. Update animation player. Check for collision. Update hut. Print info. Update bars. Play the music. Did we collide? No. Then game loop. Okay. So we just edit. So this routine that we wrote here. Okay. I just edited part of the game loop. So now the bar can update. Basically. Okay. We still have one thing which is missing. So. Now. In constants.s. Okay. We need for every enemy that we avoid, we need to get some points, no? We need to increment the score. So we do that. And That is constants. First of all, I'm going to save all. So in constants. So we have energy strength, yes. Depth level, yes. Depth timer, yes. And as far as I know, we don't have points per enemy. No. Okay. So. And this I'm going to do in at least 30 seconds. Okay. So every time we manage to escape an object, vanishes from the screen, we get 10 points. And that means we need to, as always, as, as soon as I update a constant, that means I need to go and update a variable. And then, so that's what we've been doing most of the time today. So we need to go to the variables table, or file, sorry, and We need to make, so it's down below now, for the point system. And again, I'm going to po copy it. It doesn't make sense typing it. And we are enemy points. We are initial. We start with 10, no? Okay. And then I should be still fine.
we save and just to double check myself oh i said i save and i didn't now i saved so Where do I have? Uh -huh. I think it would be better if these come below. because those do not need to be modified and as I said before when we are having a pointer and we are updating them it will affect us so those should be there instead of where they were because these are never modified and this is the last entry point that we will modify Okay, that makes more sense. I'm not sure if you're following me, okay? Um, but um, when you will see the code, because as I said, I will share the code. I, each episode will have the uh, code related to that episode. You will understand it better, hopefully. Um, yeah, that I did right, moving it down. And now, again, because we modified here, we added a variable here, we need to go to the constants, uh, sorry, hot and update this under so the last one just to realize what we are doing okay we had we are updating depth bar okay and depth bar is here okay it's here so now we need to update the points that we just did now enemy points So this should be still correct because that was the last one that we did is down below. Yeah, that's still correct. Okay. I don't know why I have this breakpoint here, but probably by mistake. So, what's next? So, we need to update uh, the routine related to the enemies now because we are going to give points now to our to to the player so in player.s we should have a routine update enemies uh, enemies sorry not in player in enemies 
enemies.s here. We should have a routine called update enemies. That is to the screen. It must be this one. And here, exactly, we have 10. We were adding 10 anyway to the score, but that needs to change. Here, we need to change it. So we need to what we need to do move it long enemy points let's see my zero and then move this zero at oh, sorry okay so that should be it to this to the to this change so now we can vary the points okay that's why i created that value we can vary the points depending on the level so we multiply by the level basically uh, or something like that uh, or increment it depends what we want to do or increment by 10 okay uh, and now the longer you stay alive the more points you will you will get no because time is passing and we increment this the the score before it was a constant we're always adding 10 now it varies by the level so that's why we did that Now we need to um, increment the level because we are not incrementing the level. So update level. Update level. That was enemies, let's save it. Yeah, we need to revise this routine now and make that we add points, we add the points basically. So I'm just going to copy these two lines. Before I copy, let me check that I did right. Yeah, I think we are okay. So we're adding 10 points. This routine is not finished yet, but for now it's fine. I'm pretty sure um, we're going to come back to it because there's one thing missing in this routine. Okay. So let's see where we are with the code. Okay, we said well, so we still have an issue. What is this issue? In handle collision. So 
صراحة عند الكوليجن in here this one should not be like that definitely so player.s yeah that one and just to be clear and better because I had doubts on this from the beginning. The only thing is, do we need this? We don't need it, I think. So let's see with it. Hey, hello, Molizim. So, let's see what happens now. Okay, so the energy bar is is, is decreasing, but the depth, I doubt it is increasing. The score is increasing. It again let's try to survive 30 seconds in the depth as you can see is not increasing I think 30 seconds has passed by now so we are missing that part Oh no, it increased, so actually we did it. My god, 30 seconds seems so... And notice now, it's not ev every... So every enemy that we managed to escape, the points are not... are not uh, 10, but they are increasing according to the level. My only issue is, we are not changing color, which is annoying. get it out okay so first of all let's uh, acknowledge guys if you're interested in seeing Linux working on strange boxes, okay, then go and follow Immolism. He is doing right now, at least today before the stream, I don't know if he succeeded or not. You tell us he was running Linux on a PS2, no? Um, so he was installing Linux on a PS2 box, which is um, interesting. I mean, I, I would never think of these things but he's doing uh, such things so yeah please go and follow um emolism so we still don't have color it will be something really really stupid i'm telling you so, we need to check for the high score now. Because we did the bar. Aha, uh -huh. so you are there in having Linux running on, on, the PS, on the PS2. Cool. So, we have the score updating and updating according to the level. We have the depth bar updating and the energy bar updating, but we do not have the high score updating. So we need to check when we finish a game to check if we have made the high score or not. And if we did, we will store it as a high score. Hence, 
we need in the heart a high score routine. which but this time I'm also going to copy it's a simple routine and I've already done my two hours today so I would like to finish it anyway it's very easy you can see what it's doing we are checking we are loading the high score into the zero we look we load the current score into the one we compare if the carry is set if clear, sorry, we exit. If it's set, then we set the high score. And that's basically it. Of course, we need to call it. So what do we do? We need to go and check the routine that we have, update the HUD, and we need to add it there. So, hold on. We are missing one thing. The routine is check high score, but we need a routine to update the high score. Yeah, so I can add this already because I know that I need to do the routine to update the high score. Okay, so this one. So we are, we are checking for the high score. I don't know why I have those comments, but it shouldn't be there. But let me check why I have those comments. No, they should not be there. Uh, And now we need to do the routine update high score. So do we have Yeah. Basically the this is the lives the update lives becomes the update high score which I can easily replace. You can see we are lose we are copying what we have in high score into the zero. We convert it to from hex to decimal. Okay, we call the routine that we have to convert it from hex to decimal, and then we print the decimal number into the memory location uh, where we have in the hard. So just to remind you, here, okay. So high score digits, we are taking the address there of it, store it in A1, and then we create a loop to print the digits that we have and store them here. That's basically it. So Update score, update high score, update high score. Update score is there. And update high score. And you notice know, they are very similar also. So we have this part where we get the decimal. So this part is the same. <clears throat> but one is score and the other one is high score. I could have created one loop and we just passed that, but whatever. Um, you can do that, okay? So notice 
this is common to both routines we can create one routine and then we pass this to it we pass d0 with either the score or the high score but um, the only difference is we also need to pass the position of where you need to print the strings because one is core digits so it's up here and the other one is high score digits anyway it doesn't matter the important thing is that you understand the code and I believe, besides the issue of the color, that is all. I believe we have done the game, besides the issue of the color, of course. I'm just making sure to save all. Yeah, I saved actually. So, F5. So the game is finished. Okay, that is the issue of the color, but it should be finished. And I'm not going to... Um, I will fix it probably offline now. So, yeah, it's not it's not changing the color. I, 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 I am missing something there. But the death bar increases, the energy bar decreases, and the score... And the score starts right now it's incrementing by by 10 but as soon as it increases you see now it's incrementing by 20 so to 60 to 80 to 100 it continues to do that okay we are missing actually two color changes one when we are in the middle, we should change color. And when we are hit, we should change color, which we are not doing. So two places where I will, I will try to sort it. Let's uh, let's spend five to ten minutes on it. If I don't, uh, I will sort it offline. But this is the game basically. The graphics are not fixed. Um, I will modify the game to make it more pleasant, let's say that. So I will modify the graphics and other stuff to make it. But that is not code. There is no more code. If I add something else, it will not be gameplay. What I'm going to add now is just cosmetics to it, like graphics, like, I don't know, writing the credit screen. But it, it's not really, not, not, not really, there's no code, just displaying another screen which we have so i do not want i think we should start thinking of another game or i should start thinking of another game and and leave this as is um because we'll do another simple one but maybe a little bit harder that's this was too simple in a way um but the aim was to get you used to it Okay, so there are two places. One is when we are in the middle, we should change color. So that is in player.s and somewhere in player.s, we check for the middle. So where we are where we say we are in the middle so check if we are in the middle now this routine is free joystick so let's see
if this is the place where we should be changing color so Do we have it's either here or in the animation? That is strange. I, I'm doing this one. Handle collision. This one is really strange. Okay. Uh, of course. Of course this will not work. Yeah. Okay. Guess what? We need to also do here. So this one. <sighs> we need it here also. This one is this and this. So oh, this is in the middle. Let's see. Okay, it's not changing. A oh, hold on. Did I save this time? So I am definitely missing something because these two needs to be here. This is we are in the middle, so we change this color. And here we collide. So we are in the middle and we collide both of them. We just need to change the color. But somehow it's like it's being overwritten, which sort of it gets overwritten by the copper list. So, so basically we are changing the color, but the copper list is overriding it. I'm just checking there. I'm going to check the register just to make sure that that register is correct. I'm having doubt. Is 
BFF one A four. Yeah, it's color eighteen. Mm. Okay. I think I think I know what it is. It's just that I think I updated the sprites and it won't be color 18, it should be color 17. I'm just going to try A2, just for the sake of it. And see what color will change. Because I think the sprites, I did an update to the sprites. And I'm not, and I haven't done it in, in this version. I am going to leave it. I'm oh, sorry, that should be four. This is the right place where to change the color. That's definitely sure. Uh, I'm sure about it. It's just that I'm missing something uh, in relation to this. Um, what I'm going to check, just one last thing, because I thought I remembered one thing, the game loop. Check middle four, yeah. So, ah, oh, come on. So, update respawn, update enemy screen, update level, three joystick, middle four, update animation player, check collision, yeah, update HUD. So, I have the code, okay, so we have this version, and for some reason, the color is not updating, so I'm missing something, but let's close it, oi, 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 no, So, hold on, it told me to save, so I didn't save before. Don't tell me that was the issue. So I'm just going to prove to you that um, what I'm saying is, is not something that I'm inventing. I'm going to bring the other version and you are going to see handle collision and it has this value there and check middle has this, okay? Because those are the colors, uh, how I am updating the colors. So close folder. Open the other one. This is player.s.
So, and the collision is that. And check middle is that. So, obviously, I'm missing something somewhere else. But besides that, if we run it, it is identical to the one that we have, to the one that we just built. Just, I might have missed some note in relation to that. So if I'm in the middle, look, it changes to turquoise. And if I hit, it changes to bright green. So there must be something that I'm, I, I didn't write in my notes for the colors. Something else. It's not a routine though. It is it is some some variable that I am not updating probably or something like that. Anyway. So this game is basically finished. You will get the code of this with the fix. So there will be the fix of the colors in it. I will not use the um one that i did but i will use this one okay just to have the same one that i had on the stream on the stream because else there might be some difference and i also did changes uh, from what i actually coded to this one so we have finished this series basically probably in the next game i will give i will show this game again but it will be let's say enhanced with better graphics etc or i will show it later on but definitely i will be thinking of another game now now the issue um give me two seconds uh... Okay, so let's, uh, okay, I ap apologies, I, I was thinking what, what to do. So, yeah, we will uh, start a new game. I don't want to say it is next Friday because I, I don't have anything prepared yet. Um, but I will try to stream anyway next Friday, but probably I will cover something that is more generic. Okay. It will be like a random stream, stream about something. It can be about Amiga or it can be about Commodore 64. I'd like to keep it around Amiga because Friday for me is Amiga. Um, so I prefer Friday, Saturday, Sunday for me are Amiga and I prefer to keep them like that. Um, and Tuesday is Commodore 64. Um, however, uh, even though I don't have a game, I mean, maybe some of you might tell me what they want, but I like to keep it simple again. Um, not sure if I will. I'm thinking whether I should use have, I have bobs in it or not. Um, we did Bob is now in, in the book, so um, I will think whether we should do it or not, but it will be a simple game. Whether we use Bob's or just Sprites, it will be a simple game uh, for sure. Um, something that we can code in 20 streams, okay? Nothing more. Um, so this one was 16. Um, next one should be similar or maybe a little bit more. I mean, when I said this one should have been 15, we did 16. It's it's fine. I mean, if, if I say 20 and we do 22 or something, but within this, within that uh, limit, um, I do not want to have uh, a game that is uh, weeks and weeks and weeks. Like, I don't know, 50 streams, it's it's not going to happen. 
thank you very much hope to see you next week or tomorrow or sun or sunday depending which whether you're italian or, or english uh, we will continue with the book thank you very much bye bye